Hey UCMC, I just want to share a little word of encouragement as we go into this third week of social distancing and staying at home. The reality of this global pandemic is covered with uncertainty and for me what I have needed to do to ground myself during this time is look into God's word and see what is certain. And today I want to share a verse with you that to me is a reminder that God can still do miraculous things even in the middle of these uncertain times. So. Philippians 4, verses 4 through 7 says this, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now, When I look at this verse, I am reminded of all of the miracles that Jesus did during his time on earth. And at face value, they were really grand, and they were mighty acts that he did. But when you look into the core, what Jesus was really getting after was a transformation of heart and of mind in his people. And I believe that that's something that we are going to be able to experience firsthand during this time. Right now, We might look at our situations and feel that God needs to change so much of our circumstances in order for us to experience peace. But peace actually has nothing to do with our circumstances and has everything to do with God's presence in them. You see, peace is a fruit of God's spirit that he gives to us in exchange for our worries and our prayers and our cries to him. Because of this, peace is a promise and peace is a miracle that we get to experience because it exists even when everything around us compels us to despair. However, peace is not ill-advised, nor is it ignorant of the realities of our situation. Rather, it's the assurance that we have that the God of the universe is in control at all times. It is my prayer as we go into this third week, and who knows how many more, that we will not delay in bringing our worries and our fears to God, and that we will experience his transformative peace that surpasses all understanding. But ultimately, my prayer is that God will be glorified amidst a world that is filled with fear and filled with despair and filled with worry. My prayer is that they will see the peace that we experience that makes no sense when you look around us. And they will say that is miraculous, and that is only from God. I want to share a little song that's been on my mind when we've been talking about peace. My sweet sister recorded a little video of this, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. Speak.
Speak.